Hey guys, I'm Ken. This is my wife, Christy. Hola. Um, several years ago, um, we were just we were having a lot of ups and downs, going through a lot of difficulties with our marriage. We were, we were getting ready to become parents. A lot of challenges, a lot of challenges. Um, but thankfully, we got connected to Good Samaritan Counseling. Since then, it, it's, it's just transformed how we do relationship, how we relate and connect with one another within our marriage. We'd love to share some of those stories with you guys. If you're watching and you're like, we're just too different, like, I get it because we are polar opposites. Even from the time of our premarital counseling, and you can tell about that. Cause... That's fine. No, keep going. Okay, yeah, so yeah. on the premarital counseling, we, we basically took a test that the couple who was mentoring us actually said, you're more different on everything than we've probably ever seen any other couple. So that was kind of shocking. Mm. But they said, you know, you, you both were centered on faith. And so as long as we center ourselves on the Lord and on His Word and His promises that He's going to help us through. Mm -hmm. And so this teaching, when we encountered uh, the teaching with David and Jane and Good Samaritan, has just been transformational in mm -hmm. our marriage. It's been about six years now doing relationship, like heart to heart, like knee me relationship. It's a discipline. Um, and it's something that you do have to cultivate and work at consistently um, because it, it doesn't come very natural to us. You know, we're very selfish people because of our sinful nature. And so building in the daily disciplines of hearing each other's hearts and expressing needs, and especially for me, you know, we've talked about a lot, uh, sending up loss, like forgiving each other when we do cause hurt and loss. Like we, we have to discipline ourselves in that daily. He can ask me, like, are you experiencing loss right now? I feel like, you know, what's on your heart? What, what are you feeling right now? Because I can sense, you know, that something hmm. is off. Yeah. We definitely are a work in progress. <laughs> and we find, hmm. you know, again, different seasons where we need to refocus on certain aspects. Like, uh, we haven't had a marriage meeting in a while. And we can tell that we're getting short with one another and we're getting stressed about uh, what the schedule is going on or what not really listening to one another's hearts So um, we'll re-engage with what does a marriage meeting look like and when can we get that in on our schedule? It doesn't matter how long you've been married a year or 15 years It doesn't matter how alike you are or how different you are as we are um, Life derails and disorders and that's the reality and it's it's a battle. It's a struggle we all need something that can bring us together in the middle. And, so, and realizing that we don't have to live in defeat and we don't have to live in that space of just frustration right. or whatever. <laughs> we never get on each other's never, nerves. <laughs> never. No, but um, that you don't have to live in that defeat, that we yeah. have the equipping, we have tools, we have resources. Mm -hmm. And if you're both receiving that teaching together, then it's easier to apply. It's this journey together, you know, it's not just one person, it's when two people are journeying together and, and putting their faith in Jesus and trying to draw out and help each other be the best they can be within the marriage, that's when extraordinary living really kind of comes to life and takes place.